enlisted in the army out of patriotism. I, I, ever since I was young, I always wanted to serve my country and serve in the military. I always had toys. I always reenacted little battles in my backyard. I felt that a drive or a need to go serve, something that, you know, less than 1% of the country raised their hand and says, hey, you know, I want to go do that. I actually came here in eighth grade and saw changing the guard. I had no expectations of being a, a sentinel at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. I, I enlisted in infantry. I expected to go to a regular infantry unit. And once I got the opportunity to come to the old guard and I knew that the tomb was a part of it, I, I immediately decided that that's something I wanted to do. I came down here for a changing of the guard one day. And I came and I seen that this was something that I wanted to do. I knew this was bigger than myself. I knew that I would serve a purpose here. Down here at the tomb, you usually go through uh, six to nine months of training. It's uh, self-paced, so depending on how well you learn your knowledge or how fast you learn your knowledge, how well you can learn to put together a uniform. All the measurements on the uniform are within 1 64th of an inch. You learn to shine your shoes with uh, kiwi and water. You also build every single thing that's on your uniform. And then as well as, you know, outside portion, learning how to do the weapons inspection or learning how to walk, you know, keeping everything within a 21 second count. The unknowns gave everything they had for us, so we, we believe that it's the least we can do to demand perfection out of ourselves when we're honoring them. What we do down here means a lot to a lot of people, and we carry that on ourselves a lot. We, we know what we do, and we strive to be perfect just because of it. Perfection is our standard, and, and knowing in the back of my mind that that's an unattainable goal, I mean, but you want to get as close to it as you can. You work 24-hour shifts when you're out there at 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. It can get uh, pretty trying. You have to stay awake and you know walk around and you can get real cold or you can get real hot. So you have, to, uh, you have to really dig deep and find that motivation. I stood guard during Hurricane Irene. I remember just standing there. I could feel the wind just pushing. Like Every time we would change shoulders, I could feel that, that wind was trying to take that weapon from me. But as long as you stood there and knew what you were trained to do. You know, this is crazy. I got trees blowing around to my left and right, and I'm standing here, you know, and then you, that's when you got to dig deep and remember why you're standing there. You have that humbleness instilled in you that you want to do the job no matter the conditions because those unknowns gave their life, and the little you could give to them is the fact that you can stand out there and take a little bit of discomfort. I had a buddy that just lost his life in Afghanistan a week ago. I first got the news. It hadn't settled in, but it made me that day especially, I could, my drive, my motivation to do what I do here really stood out and I knew that if anything I could do it for him because he was a very close friend of mine and I know, I don't know every soldier, but I know every soldier gives every single thing they've got to do this job that we do and it, it means something to me. Currently the, you know, the tomb says known but to God because that's where they, you know, who they're known to by right now because we don't know who they are, but I'm hoping someday when I pass on, you know, many, many years from now, that uh, I'll, I'll get to know their names. I think a lot of people look at more material objects in life than they do what you've done and what you've accomplished. And it isn't really like what you've accomplished as far as you don't have to be you know, a big rock star or a football player, but just be who you are. The fact that you can go out there and, and touch someone's life or you can go out there and just with a simple change of a guard, you know, you can inspire somebody or touch somebody emotionally and know that you've connected. At one point you had to step out from being a, a kid. You couldn't be, you know, underneath mom and dad's wing anymore. You eventually had to be your own self and the military has definitely helped me mature and, and develop myself into the man and, and like I said, every day I'm, I'm getting challenged more and more and hopefully I'm doing a good job of becoming a good man. I, I feel I am. The Sentinel's Creed. My dedication to this sacred duty is total and wholehearted. In the responsibility bestowed on me, never will I falter. And with dignity and perseverance, my standard will remain perfection. Through the years of diligence and praise and the discomfort of the elements, I will walk my tour in humble reverence. To the best of my ability, it is he who commands the respect I protect, his bravery that made us so proud. Surrounded by well-meaning crowds by day, alone in the thoughtful peace of night, this soldier, this soldier, this soldier will in honor glory rest under my eternal vigilance.